Charleston now, that's where I'll be found. I'm going to Charleston now, I'm Charleston bound. We're starting to be- become a, you know, not just that band that, oh, that, but like, you know, like you said, the chocolate drops are out there doing it right, and and uh, Old Crow's out there doing it right, and there's several of them out there, you know. Um, the Sanctified Grumblers in Chicago doing it right, and, and it feels awesome to be on, start to get on par with that. It's very cool, because we've been busting our ass for a long time, and to, like, to get to a point where we're not just, uh, you know, just playing for an empty room is beautiful, that in itself. I mean, I can't tell you, I mean, every musician's got to experience it, how many empty rooms you play, and how many times you swallow your pride, you get up, you watch an entire room empty out, and you swallow your pride and do your set, you know, and then go on, go on the next show. And that's that's hard, man. You got to do lots of that, and and we've seen that starting to fade out pretty pretty steadily. And that alone is a beautiful thing, man. You know. Yeah, the, we've been touring for about two years now, and it's been it has been um, getting better and better. Each time we come back to Boston, more people are coming out, and same with Chicago and some of the cities we've hit several times. And uh, yeah, our, our shows, I think our shows are becoming more and more fun within the band um so things are going good we've been definitely busy but uh we've been doing good work i think Song. She took it up, I put it on It comes Jenny with the big boots on My favorite part about being in Sun Studios was looking at the walls and seeing the pictures of all the people that recorded there and, and looking at them while you're singing and playing. And then also learning about how they how they recorded back then with just one or two or three microphones. And part of that was um, just putting the vocal mic as far away from the drums as they needed to or the, ba- or the bass sounded best in this one spot. So they put the microphone, you know, 
closer, further away from that. It was pretty awesome. It was a it was a good day. It was only like three or four hours we were there and left with really good memories. Yeah, Sun Studio was amazing. We got to go last June, was it? Sometime in the summer. It was really hot, and it, they do it old school style. They they turn off the AC, so it was super hot in there. Small room. You could feel it. You could feel the energy of people coming out. Jay got to play the uh, piano, that old piano. It's all out of tune and funky. Made it sound real nice. It was awesome. We actually got the vinyl now. We got a seven inch vinyl from the Sun session, which is super cool. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, we and you get to do like the last tour of the day, so you get the full history of the place. And then I got it to go into the studio, and the guy was like, "That hole in the tile is where they always put the peg for the bass." So I got to like put my peg right exactly where all these famous bass players have been, and it's awesome. <laughs> are all from different parts of the country. We met in Ithaca, New York about 12 years ago. We all ended up at Ithaca College doing something or other with music. Ben and I actually had a lot of the same classes. He gave a senior recital um, on the classical guitar and our teacher from Argentina heard the three of us at the recital and we were playing three bluegrass songs and he said, I hear you play this music. I say, who are these guys? The Howling Brothers. <laughs> And that's, you know, that's one of the better things we got out of college was the name. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It was worth that. I but saw him later at a coffee shop that same week. Pablo Cohen is his name. And he was out there and he saw me, he gave me a big hug, and he said, I hear you are keeping the name. <laughs> I said, hell yeah, Pablo, we're moving to Nashville with it. <laughs> 